Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and today I'm going to show y'all how to use the color replace tool, color remove tool, and the green screen effect right here in Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's look at my timeline. And in my first example, I want to go ahead and change this character's red shirt, and I want to make it green using the color replacement tool. All right, so the first thing I got to do is I need to go to my effects, and I need to scroll down and find the color replace tool. So I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag that onto my character. All right. And you'll see that it was added because under effects, you'll see the color replace tool has been added. And now you want to go ahead and click on add color to replace. All right. So let's go ahead and choose the old color first. So let's click on the properties for the old color and let's choose our eyedrop selector tool. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click anywhere in our red shirt here. So I'm going to select this red right here and you'll see that it color matched it to his shirt right now. All right. So once you got that set, you're going to go to your new color. All right, so once you got your new color properties open, you're gonna go ahead and choose the color of the area you want, right? So for me, I want green, so I'm gonna take this color wheel and drag it to about right there. And then the minute I choose one of these green hues, it's gonna go ahead and change it already, right? So it took away the red shirt and made it green, which is pretty cool. So I can go in there and tweak it a little more if I need to by adjusting the tolerance. So the tolerance will, you know, if I take it back to like zero more, then it, you can see that it's, it hasn't covered all the red, but if you bump the tolerance up a little bit, you can kind of get in there and tweak it more as you need to, right? Gives these a little bit more of a fine detail for the tolerance. Now, if you go too far, you'll get into his cheeks, and you'll start getting other colors and that's what you don't want. So be careful with the tolerance and take it to about the level that you need. So for me, that's going to be about five, right? All right. So your saturation will adjust how, you know, saturated this green will be or how unsaturated you want it to be, right? So if I take it, take it up a little bit, it'll make it greener. Um, and then if I take it down, it'll desaturate it for me, right? So let's go ahead and leave it at zero and then we'll go with it from there, right? Oops. All right. So zero is good. All right. So now my brightness, I can adjust and that will go ahead and make it brighter or I can take it back and then it will be less bright, right? But again, I'm going to go ahead and make it, let's go ahead and choose 6.5 is pretty good. All right. So that is how you can color replace, um, one of the, the colors inside of your animations. Now it can get more complex. So if you have multiple colors within your, uh, like say for example, the shirt had other shades of green or shades of something, then you could go in and add another color to replace and choose that and then replace that shade. So that way you can fill out everything in the right color that you want. So there's lots of options, um, but start with start small and then work your way up to the more complicated stuff, right? It's kind of how I do it. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at a picture all right. And inside this picture, um, we're going to change this yellow background and we're going to go ahead and make it like a bluish kind of, kind of color. Right? So again, I'm going to go to my effects. I'm going to scroll down and then drag my color replace onto this picture that I got. All right. And now again, I'm going to go to add color to replace and I'm going to choose the yellow. So my old color is going to be the yellow color. And again, I need to go to my eyedrop tool, select it, and then choose anywhere in the yellow. And you'll see that it color matched it there for me. And once I got that selected, I can go ahead and go to new color and then I'm going to choose somewhere in here and then choose this blue right here or this tealish light bluish color. Um, so once I got that set, then I can go over here and work on my tolerance. Now there's a little bit down here that I could adjust, but, um, let's work on the tolerance there, kind of make it a little more of that color. And then I'm good with my saturation. I'm good with my brightness. But that is how you can AB it, right? So I can turn it off. There's my yellow and then let's turn it back on. And then there is my blue background, right? So that's how you can color replace within animation, right? And then also within a picture. So that's pretty cool tools within Create Studio Pro that will kind of help enhance your projects, give you more options to choose when you're working with colors and stuff inside of your projects. All right, so in my next one, we're gonna go ahead and do some color removal, all right? So what I can do with this is I wanna remove the color of her dress up top, but leave this little uh, orange red strip here. So what I can do is go to my effects and then scroll down and find the color removal option. I'm going to left click and drag that onto my character. All right. So again, you can see with your character selected that under effects, the color removal tools there, and we have two options to choose from. So under my color, I'm going to open up my color properties and same thing using my eyedrop selector tool. I'm going to click it here and then I'm going to click in her dress. And so it automatically took away that portion of her dress because of that color. But now I need to adjust the distance, right? So let's zoom in a little bit. And the distance will allow me to 
remove the rest of that color in there, right? So if I left click and hold on the percent sign and drag to the right, it removes it. And if I drag to the left, it starts bringing the colors back. But I wanna remove it, so I'm gonna go ahead and go about right there, right? So that is how you can use the color removal tool, right? So now if I AB it, go back to my effects, can turn it off. There's with the dress color there, and then I turn it on, and now that top part's removed, and I still have that little color strip there at the bottom of her dress. So that's a pretty cool feature too, to where you can remove colors if you need to, um, and kind of gives you options and flexibility in working with your projects as well. All right, so that's a cool feature for the color removal. Now let's work on the green screen, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and come to my media here, and I'm gonna drag this astronaut into my canvas here, all right? So there he is, there's my astronaut. He's kind of just floating around there, giving us a little wave. And I need to key out the green screen so I can put a background behind him. So in order to do that, what I need to do is again, go to my effects and I need to go to the green screen and drag that on top of my astronaut. All right, so you'll see that the green screen was added under effects, you'll see it. And then the properties for it are right here. So if I go to color, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the properties for it. Go to my eyedrop selection tool and then click anywhere in the green, okay? So once I do that, it went ahead and keyed out the green, and then you'll see that this white background is basically a transparent background, all right? So whatever I put behind him is gonna appear behind him, right? But you'll notice that in my astronaut, there's still some green outline there, right? So what I can do is I can adjust my similarity and take away some of that green. So if I left click and drag towards that percent sign, drag to the right, it goes ahead and starts taking away some of those edges of that green, which kind of helps me out. You don't want to go too far because it will take away your astronaut, right? You don't want that. So, or if I go back too far, you'll see that it opens up some of that green. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it to probably about 18. That's pretty good. You can kind of smooth it out as well. So if I smooth out some of those edges, kind of rounds it out a little better. And then if you had, for example, some like reflection of the green screen on your character here, you could adjust the spill and it will kind of remove, help some, remove some of those colors of green on your character. But mine's pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. All right, so with your character set, he's got the green screen removed, he's looking pretty good, looking sharp. I need to find a background to, to put behind him, right? So I've already downloaded a few backgrounds, um, but I've got this space background. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on top of my character here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with my astronaut and then trim it so it's the length of my astronaut there. And in order for this to work is I need my background to be below my astronaut, right? It's kind of like a layer. And then once I do that, you'll see that it added it. And um, once I play it back, you'll see that the background plays and it's a video background and the astronaut is moving as well. So it, it keyed out the green and that's how you can utilize it for, um, for any project that you may have. So whether you did an interview on the green screen, that's how you can key out the background change the color, change the picture altogether, um, or util utilize any green screen and take away the background and replace it with something more professional, right? All right, so that's how you utilize the color replace tool, color removal tool, and how you use the green screen. Um, hopefully you got some quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.